guys, this is a quick reveal of the Irish flap from Bad Ink that I bought at eBay. It costs around $105. I'm going to put the uh, description link. Um, I mean, I'm going to put the link below at the description box. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is a turn lock hardware that you need to open to close the bag. Oh, before that, uh, let me just uh, tell you guys that this is a lambskin leather. It says that it's a genuine lambskin leather, but I do have some debate on that. Maybe it's a lambskin leather, but it's not that high quality lambskin leather. But it feels like real leather and it smells like real leather as well. So um, this size is a medium size. It's kind. This kind of reminds me of the Chanel 2.55. So if you wanted to buy the uh, Chanel bag, I know it's really expensive. You can try to go and purchase an inspired bag like this one so that you could try if this would fit your lifestyle, if this would uh, be okay to carry all the necessities that you need to carry for you throughout the day. Again, this is not a dupe. This is not a Chanel dupe. This is not a fake Chanel, this is not a replica Chanel, there is no Chanel logo here. This is an inspired bag. So a uh, dupe or replica bag is different from an inspired bag. Let's go ahead and open it. This is a do double flap style. Once you open the first flap, you would see that there is a zipper compartment here. But definitely you cannot put anything onto this side because it's, it just goes right through on top of this part. So you cannot put anything, maybe some cash if you want to keep it hidden. So you could go ahead and put or stash some bills here. And there is another compartment here, a slip compartment. And let's open the double flap. So here, it's a uh, burgundy in color. If you can see, there is no Chanel logo or whatnot. It's burgundy as well onto this first compartment and onto the main compartment. There is two pockets and another one, but definitely you cannot put a lip balm or lipstick here because it would not fit. This is really small, but the main compartment is very roomy, so you could put a lot of things here. And at the back part, there is another compartment, a back pocket, which iPhone 7 would not fit here. Maybe you could use this uh, for grab-and-go items or small grab-and-go items like card holder, um, all control, tissue, or whatnot. Okay, let's close it first. Let's close it. So there is this um, magnetic closure onto the second flap. Here we go. The uh, bottom part is hard. It's a very structured bag. So if you're going to put this on top of a table, it would stand on its own. As well as the sides, it's kind of, there's kind of like a cardboard inside. I'm not sure what they put here, but it's a very structured bag. But still, this is a lambskin leather, so you really need to be careful because lambskin leather um, is a scratchy leather. So you need to be very careful when handling this bag. The uh, chain that I do have is a gunmetal um, colored, colored one. I don't want the gold one. So I purchased the um, gunmetal hardware. So this is adjustable like Chanel's bag. So you could have it in um, shoulders uh, if you want to use it as a shoulder bag or if you want to use it as a crossbody. You just need to pull one chain so that you could have it in a long, longer strap. Okay, There you have it. This is the um, Irish flap um, Chanel bag inspired from back in. But I bought this at eBay. Thank you for watching and see ya.